Milwaukee.com here with head coach Jason Reitmeyer. Coach, huge win tonight, 25-9 over 10th ranked Upper Iowa. Uh, just great atmosphere, just a great night for you and your team. Can you just kind of speak on just the emotions of having a big win like this? I'm, I'm proud of them. You know, they wrestled hard. Every match was uh, was a match that we needed, to be honest, for regions and, and, and so forth, and to get ourselves ready for St. Cloud. And uh, I thought we wrestled really well from top to bottom. You know, starting at 84, we got a loss there. But... Well, we wrestled well against the fourth-ranked guy in the nation. We had him on the ropes. We had a, a shot at winning that match. And that's all we asked for is to try to put ourselves in a position to win every match, you know, and stuff. And we did that. And, uh, you know, uh, we're not satisfied, though. We got a lot more work to do. We got two more weeks to prepare for the regional. St. Cloud coming in on Friday and number one team. We got a little respect tonight after, uh, after feeling disrespect with the rankings. Uh, speaking about that, yeah, just early on, it just seems like even Arrow Amos' match, just a highly contested one where he fought, he fought incredibly hard. But then Jay Dawkins goes out and has a real dominant performance. Then Michael Lohman goes out and delivers one of the most grueling match of the year ones I've ever seen. Um, you just kind of speak about the performances by those guys setting the tone early. Well, again, you know, Arrow went out and wrestled uh, the fourth ranked guy in the nation and, and just about pulled off a win, and that just kind of, that kind of pumped everybody up. You know, and that's a match we really thought we could win if we wrestled well and stuff. And and now that we've seen him, we know what to work on and what we need to do for our uh, regions. Dawkins just went out and dominated the kid. The kid's a young kid, a freshman, you know, so we expected that a little bit. But Jay just turned it up another level tonight, and it was great. And, and you know, Moose, he's, he's a great big sucker, and he's, he's in great shape. You know, and people think that he's big and out of shape. No, that kid can go and go and go. And we told him tonight, you know, you got to wrestle a smart match. Go after the kid, push the pace. Don't take any unnecessary, on un, you know, bad shots. And, and he, he stayed with his high singles, his swing single, and, and it, it worked out well for us. Uh, another guy who uh, really had a solid night and a big match, um, Sean Haddlestad, used to talk about just he gets a win over the fourth-ranked uh, yeah. fourth ranking in, 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 uh, in uh, just overtime on a, gets a sudden victory. Um, Hard fought match again, kind of comes up right at the end on that. Just, I mean, that just seemed like it was a real momentum boost. It was, you know, I mean, Sean, uh, we've been kind of switching Sean and, and Braden Nice. He's in and out of 57. They've both been wrestling well. Braden's a little banged up, so we're not sure what's going to happen there. And, and Sean went out, and this is the second ranked guy he's beaten this year, you know, and he, he he's kind of had an up and down year. He's, he's wrestling really well, and then also we'll lose to someone we shouldn't to, and then we'll beat somebody maybe maybe on paper they think we shouldn't, but uh, we, we thought we could win that match. Yet. We, it didn't really matter who we were going to put out there. We thought we could win that match if we wrestled well. Uh, finally, uh, this all sets up next Friday for a potential NSIC uh, <laughs> championship duel there against uh, St. Cloud State. Um, I know you talked about it just briefly earlier, getting a little respect now with a win like this. Uh, what are some things that you guys are going to be working forward going going into that match next Friday? Well, we need to watch some film on ourselves and uh, figure out what we need to do better. And, uh, of course, we'll know our opponent, and uh, we'll figure out what we need to do in the match, and, and hopefully uh, hopefully, we'll come on and wrestle with this kind of intensity and this kind of uh, hunger and, and get a W. Well, Coach, congrats on the huge win tonight, and best of luck going forward next Friday. Thank you. GoAuggie.com here with sophomore heavyweight Michael Lohman. Mike, huge night tonight. Convincing win against uh, number 10 Upper Iowa. Just talk about just the atmosphere and pulling this kind of win against them. Well, you know, it was great atmosphere. Um, number one key thing that we had going for us is, you know, teamwork. Uh, we had the intensity we wanted. Um, we, just work, we just worked really hard this week, and, yeah, it was a really good match. And the atmosphere and the fans was just amazing. Uh, let's talk about your match there. You kind of turned in, obviously, one of the more exciting matches maybe of the easily of this year, some of the best I've ever seen, a 4-2 victory in the seventh period. Uh, you just talk about just how grueling of a battle that was and how nice was it for you to get that win? Oh, you know, um, one of the main things that uh, Coach emphasis, or emphasizes during our uh, practices is that we're going to out-wrestle them for every single period, even if we have to go into overtime. So I knew going into overtime that I was in better shape and I was going to be able to last longer than he was. And I knew that I wasn't going to make a mistake before he was. So, you know, a lot of emotions, but we do train to keep those under control and keep our head level. Uh, Huge match just by um, just by multiple guys on the team. It just seems it seems like early on, um, just you, uh, Jay Dawkin, kind of set the, set the tone early. Even Arrow Amo, who lost to just a highly contested match himself, just came to look like you guys were setting the tone. Like we're here to wrestle tonight. Oh, you know, um, one of the great things about uh, the upper weights, you know. Uh, both coaches, uh, Tom and Jason, are both really great. Tom's really, really influential on us, and we like to try to score as many points as possible. And you know, just his intensity helps us to, um, you know, just go out there and wrestle as hard as we can. And you know, he's a very intense coach, and you know, he does work with the upper weights. 
So it's a lot, you know, his intensity, we feed off it a lot, and it shows in our matches, most definitely. Uh, finally, last question. Um, guys remain undefeated in conference play, uh, setting up a potential NSIC uh, conference title match um, against uh, St. Cloud next Friday. Just um, what kind of preparation is going to go into that going forward now? You know, uh, we've been doing the same thing ever since um, ever since the beginning of the year, and I don't think we're going to change it at all because why change a good thing when it's working? Well, Mike, congrats again on tonight. Good luck going forward next week. Thank you.